All right, now we're in our turnip plot, and uh, over here on my left, we have uh, just the regular purple top turnips that everybody's quite familiar with. Uh, and here on my right, we have a hybrid turnip. This is the Viva. Uh, sometimes it's also called the Vivant, uh, depending on where it was grown. But it's a hybrid turnip. It's a, it's a purple top turnip that was crossed with an Asian leaf vegetable uh, to get this type of plant. And uh, they both are very, very good spring planted forages. As you can see, there's a tremendous amount of forage biomass right here. And unlike the radishes, these turnips are not bolting. Uh, turnips and some of the other ones that we'll talk about, they only go reproductive when they vernalize. Vernalize means it has to get cold enough for that plant to kind of go into a dormant stage and then wake up and start growing again. And because we planted these in April, it was not cold enough to vernalize them. So these things will grow vegetatively throughout the summer. So this is what you want if you want a spring planted brassica for grazing. You don't want uh, the bolting like we saw in the radishes. You want all of this massive forage growth. And so these are both good options. Uh, the purple top turnips, again, is kind of the old standby. Uh, the Viva or the Vivants, uh, probably one of the, Dale, one of the things that these are bred specifically for is regrowth. And so if you're going to be doing multiple grazings and want lots of regrowth, it might be worth the extra money uh, to buy the hybrids because they do tend to have a little more aggressive regrowth. So Dale, why don't you tell us a little bit about the, the difference between the purple top and the hybrid, both the above ground and the below ground parts. Right. I mean, they're both turnips, but um, the purple top, the old standard, you know, is the thing we're after on it is the root uh, because this is a carbohydrate storage. and. Uh, finds a lot of use in grazing because not only the tops but the root get eaten by grazing livestock. This is a very compact nutrient dense package here that can really put some gain on animals. And, and so that's what people have liked about turnips is, is how much energy there is stored in this plant. And, and the fact that the animals can eat the entire plant not just the tops. The drawback of that is that once this is eaten you don't get any more. It's a one and done grazing pass. Um, the hybrid turnips on the other hand, this is all below ground. This is not what the animals are after. They're after these leaves. And when they come in here, eat these leaves off, this will grow back time after time. So this can be used for multiple grazing flushes instead of the one and done. And you also look at the difference in the, the leafiness of it. There's quite a bit more leaf foliage yeah. there available for grazing and it comes back time and time again. So and it can be used for multiple flushes. Right, and a lot of the purpose of these hybrid brassicas uh, was originally intended for sheep grazing and you know how hard sheep graze things. Yes. So these things really have some good regrowth ability. So uh, if you're looking for multiple grazings, uh, I think it's worth a little bit of extra uh, for the hybrid uh, turnips. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's hard to go wrong with just a good old purple top in a spring grazing mix.